Hey everyone, welcome to Matt's Lockpit. And if you have a look on my bench, I am one lucky son of a bitch. Uh, it was only about two weeks ago I had a package from my good friend Tom, Foxy, at Red Cat Imaging. And um, yeah, as I said, it's only been a week or two, and I've got another one. And um, yeah, I know what was supposed to be in here, there was only one little thing. However, it's a bit heavier, and it feels like it could have a lock in it. So um, what I plan to do is open this, and then... Um, after I've opened it, I'm going to pick a challenge lock for you guys. So if you bear with me one second, I'll get this open. And, um... Awesome. Alright then. Just, uh... Okay. Just got a note here, just uh, scan over this really quickly guys. Awesome, thank you very much Tom my friend, I'll have a good read of that thoroughly in a second after the video. So um, yeah, let's see what we've got in here. Put some more packaging. There we go, as I expected, well not as I expected, as it felt like, there's a lock in here. I'm just going to get it all out and then I'll open it. Nice. Awesome. So, um, yeah, first things first, I think I'm going to open up this lock, see what it is. I wasn't expecting this in the slightest. So, uh, let's see what fun we've got here, guys. So, I'm sure... Anyone watching my channel will already be fully aware of who Foxy is and Red Cat Imaging and his amazing channel and some of the amazing stuff that he does. But if on the off chance you haven't checked out Foxy, then um, I seriously, seriously recommend it. Not only is he an amazing bloke, he's very talented. God, look at that. BKS. He's picked one side of it, as you can see. See if I can focus better on that side. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. Look at that nasty keyway, guys. I've never actually picked a BKS before, so this is going to be very fun. He's got the one side picked. Um, yeah, as I said, I've never picked a BKS before. I did start picking on a BKS this morning. If you bear with me just one second. This was also from Foxy, but um, yeah, this is a challenge lock, BKS one, but look at the difference in the keyways, guys. That, let's see if I can get that to focus, that is going to be nasty. Really looking forward to having some fun with that. So cool. What we got here? This looks right up my street. This does, guys. Caramel mousse, nice and thick. Look at the size of that. And that's going straight in my belly. The kids ain't having any of that. I tell you that much now. That's right up my street. And so this is what I was expecting. And this is the reason I'm going to pick a challenge lock after this video. And uh, that'll become apparent in a second. That BKS is going to be fun, I'll tell you that much now, guys. That keyway, I don't know whether it's showing up on the camera, but that's a funky keyway. Oh, that's nice. And this is the reason I'm going to pick a challenge lock, guys. Oh, hang on a second. Well, bite my ass and lick my balls. Holy fuck. That is amazing. I'll show you that in a second. But what we've got here is an amazing portable pin and tray. Stay shut. So it's amazing for my outdoor adventures. But another reason for this is, um, I don't know whether any of you have been catching my recent videos, but I've been tilting my camera down. And what I've been using is my 3D printed dragon which was from Foxy as well 
and what I've been doing is just uh, sticking my Sparrows pinning mat there but it's a bit rickety and dodgy um, I'm gonna end up losing all the pins so um, yeah I was talking to Foxy about it and what he's come up with is the portable pinning tray however if you fold it completely over it'll stand up nice and then all I have to do is uh, put the pins in real quickly and then I can show you them one by one and talk through them so I could say double serration spool funky Martian key pin whatever um, as I said I was gonna pick a challenge lock to show this uh, pin and tray in use but the amazing Foxy has sorted that for me and he has made me very very happy and uh, he's included some of the munition bullet pins and these are amazing um, so yeah, I'm going to get these out and load them up into the tray. And um, thank you, Tom. I'm over the moon with those. I really, really do love these. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get them out and put them in the tray. And uh, we'll see what's what. It did say in the note that he'd, um, he may have preloaded it. And... Um, what I thought he meant by that was he wanted me to, because he's picked the one side, I thought he wanted me to gut this BKS and stick it in. Which uh, I was thinking to myself, well, um, I want to pick it first, but that's going to be a nasty pick. I can't guarantee how long that's going to take me. But now I've got bullet pins. Motherfucking bullet pins. Alright, so the easiest way probably would be to lay it down. Once again, Tom, thank you so much, man. Really, really, really wasn't expecting this. It's blown me away. I'm over the moon with it. Not just the tray, but the bullet pins. The lock. And I tell you what, that is right up my alley. That's the sort of thing I like to have. So then I should be able to just stand this up. Awesome stuff. And then I can zoom you in. Now I have a lot of trouble focusing normally, guys. But as you can see. Alright, so here, these bullet pins are absolutely fascinating. As you can see, we've got a shotgun shell here. We've got what looks to be a 9mm shell. Another 9mm shell. Not sure what this one is. We'll have a look in a second. Looks to be a rifle bullet. Here, this is really cool. That's an air rifle pellet. And we've got another rifle bullet. And that is fantastic. So let's just have a quick close look at these pins. Um, I'll probably pop them out and put them onto my hand if I'm honest with you. Yeah. Cool. Just place the tray down. Look at the detail on that, guys. Shotgun shell. It's even got a primer cap in the bottom. Look. How the hell do they do that? Fantastic. We've got a 9mm shell here. Primer at the bottom again. Oh. Another 9mm rounded top on this one rather than the dimple. Oh, nice! Not sure what this shell is, but it's um, got a hollow point on it, look. Focus. So I get that to focus. The primer cap's actually got a mark in it from where it had been hit with a firing pin. So it's a spent shell. That is fascinating, that is. There we go, we've got a rifle bullet. And this thing here, like an air rifle pellet. 
hollowed out at the bottom like a real one would be and that is spot on I remember I used to have two two air rifle pellets that were exactly the same as that that is very cool and last but not least we've uh, got another rifle bullet I'm not sure what rifle or what not it would be guys but the detail in that is amazing and this pin and tray this is a work of art as well That is perfect for my needs. Look at that, guys. As I said, I can literally just, with my challenge locks, I could say we've got the shotgun shell here. Da, da, da. That'll speed my video up loads. And, um, yeah, be able to show off people's pins how I like to. They've, a lot of work goes into people's pins, so it's nice to do them justice. And, um, yeah, thank you, Tom. Um, you've absolutely blown me away. All I was expecting was this little tray. So a funny story, I was chatting to him about it. He didn't seem too keen on the idea, if I'm honest with you. Um, but yeah, uh, the day after, he sent me a picture, and it was this very tray, and it had pins lined up in it. And um, he said to me, if you can guess what the pins came out of, you can have the tray. So of course, I guessed wrong at first. And then he said, think it through, Matt. Uh, I'll give you three guesses. And... Um, yeah, I got it right on the second guess, thank God, because this is an absolute beautiful tray. Really deep grooves in it as well, so there's no chance of the pins falling out. And to be honest, guys, I can probably even close it back up. And um, yeah, it'll sit in there nice. And it's so well designed. It's even got the little catch with the hollow bit at the top for it to lock closed. So yeah, that is perfect, both as a uh, portable pin and tray and um, to stand up like I wanted it to. As you can see, it works perfectly. And a set of bullet pins, I am over the moon with those. I can't thank you enough, Tom, my friend. Um, what a fantastic gift. Um, yeah, so as I said, please, please, please check out Red Cat Imaging if you haven't, for whatever reason. Um, I don't know why you'll be watching my videos if you haven't checked out Red Cat Imaging. Um, stop watching my videos and get on over there. I'll also leave a link in the description of the video of um, Foxy actually picking these pins in a lock that Lock Noob sent him. Obviously, Lock Noob was the one who designed these. And um, yeah, sorry the video's gone on a bit long, guys, but... Um, as you can probably tell, I am very excited and I am over the moon with this lot. So, um, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe. And once again, Tom, my friend, thank you so, so much. You're an absolute diamond. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah. So I'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Bye.